السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا The scholars they have generally categorized the proofs for the existence of Allah into four groups and the first group which is what we're talking about today is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah says in the 52nd surah of the Quran and the 35th ayah أَمْ خُلِقُوا مِنْ غَيْرِ شَيْءٍ أَمْ هُمُ الْخَالِقُونَ When they created from nothing or are they themselves the creators in asking this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is establishing establishing the the default position that when a person of intellect when a person of sanity he looks at this creation around him and he looks at all of these amazing things he understands this didn't come into being so Allah asks did they come did they create themselves or is this just some sort of uh, by chance this all this appeared Allah says afala yanzuruna ila al-ibli kayfa khuliqat wa ila as-samaa'i kayfa rufi'at wa ila al-jibaal kayfa nusibat wa ila al-ard kayfa sutihat Allah says have they not seen did they, do they not look at the camel how we have created it and the sky how we have raised it and the mountains how we have set them firm and rooted and at the earth how it has been spread out Allah is calling us to look at this universe around us one which has clear perfection in its design subhanallah so Allah is saying to you look this didn't just come about in and of itself it's like me saying the PC or the mobile phone which you are watching me on right now it created itself you'd say this person is crazy this person is crazy حتى even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says سنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق we will show them our signs in the horizon in the universe and even in their own selves until they realize and it becomes clear that this is the truth you don't need to look at the world around you you don't need to look at the sun which if it was brought a little bit closer then earth or life on earth it wouldn't be able to exist you don't need to look at the uh, gravity which if it was a little bit stronger or a little bit weaker there would be ca- ca- catastrophic results in the universe you don't look at need to look at the atmosphere you don't need to look at the composition of water you don't need to look at any of these things subhanallah look at your own self look at your own body look at your own creation this in and of itself is a proof that this has been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my dear brothers imagine you're walking through a rainforest you're walking through a rainforest and you stumble upon a brick wall and a brick wall in the middle it has a door which leads to the other side and somebody comes to you and he says there was a chemical reaction and what took place uh, it resulted in some bricks being neatly formed and then there was an earthquake and this caused one brick to go upon the next brick upon the next upon the next until we had a wall and then what happened was a uh, a strong wind it came and it blew down a tree or two and then they uh, they decomposed and then this resulted in a nice door and then what happened there was a flood and it carried this door slammed it against the wall and the door was uh, then fixed between those bricks and you have a doorway between some bricks you would say you have lost your mind you have gone crazy but then we say subhanallah how can you then believe in atheism how can you then believe in the theory of evolution in big bang and all of these crazy different theories when you yourself you are more complicated than that brick wall forget yourself look at the universe subhanallah look at the way that it has been composed and put together and designed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he says be it is this is the first way that the scholars they have proven for the sound intellect and the sound mind this is the first way they have proven the existence of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is through the creation so when we look at the creation we see the signs of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it makes us say fatabarakallahu ahsan al-khaliqin so blessed 
is Allah, the best of creators, subhanallah. So join me in the next episode, inshallah, when we look at the second way that the scholars have proved the existence of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa